So what can you exactly expect to pay in property taxes in Sarasota County? So that may be a common question you're asking yourself because you're looking to purchase a property here in Sarasota. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what the exact property taxes are, different tax exemptions, as well as what the property taxes actually pay for in the county. And if you stick around to the end, I will be actually sharing with you an example and an equation that you can actually use for yourself as to how to estimate what the property taxes could be once once you take hold of a property. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get started. What is going on everyone? My name is Noel Ward and I'm a local real estate agent here in Sarasota and this channel is all about what it's like to live, work, sleep and play in the Sarasota area. So now our topic today is going to be property taxes. No one likes property taxes but everyone has to pay them who is a homeowner. However, there is a certain group of people that do not have to pay property taxes and those are renters. However, the landlords of the properties will have to pay those taxes. So what exactly do the property taxes that you pay actually go towards in the county? So in Sarasota County, the property taxes are going to go towards like things like public roadways, public parks, uh, law enforcement, fire stations, and much, much more. Basically everything that involves the public. So now you may have been browsing and looking at some properties, but you finally found that one property that you absolutely gotta have. But now you wanna figure out what the current taxes are that the current owner is paying. So you either ask your real estate agent or you look them up through public records and you finally obtain what that tax number is. However, I wanna say that that tax number that they're currently paying right now is most likely going to change compared to when you take hold of the property. Now you may be asking yourself, Noah, why exactly would the taxes change, right? So now there are two major reasons why the taxes are going to change. The first one is going to be that the assessed value of the home in today's market is most likely much higher than the assessed value of of when they got when the current owner got it appraised either last year or 10 plus years ago right so there's two different values in real estate we have assessed value and then we have market value so the assessed value is when a Florida State appraiser state certified appraiser actually comes out to the property and actually values what the home is actually worth and then the market value is actually what the current market of buyers are actually willing to pay for your property. And luckily for you, the assessed value is going to be most likely much lower than the market value of your property. And also taxes are based on the assessed value. And now the second reason why you don't really wanna to focus too much on the current property taxes is going to be the different tax exemptions. So what happens when you actually go to purchase your property, when you go to purchase that property, all the tax exemptions that the past owner had go absolutely down to zero. So you do not, you will not know if you have the same tax exemptions that the past owner had. So you really cannot base off your current or their current property taxes onto what taxes you could pay potentially in the future. And if you want to know more about the Florida tax exemption laws, you can click this little video up above and I actually break down what the different tax exemptions that you can use for your Florida property. So now you may have found the perfect property, but now you first want to figure out what the estimated property taxes are and what you can expect to pay next year. So how exactly do you go about estimating those property taxes? Well, this is a two-step process. So the first thing you first want to figure out is the assessed value of the home. And remember, the assessed value is different than the market value. And we do not really will, we will not know what the assessed value is because an assessment has not been done on the property. However, what we do know is that in the state of Florida, the assessed value is around 80 to 85% of the market value of the home. So let's say we started out with a $400,000 house. Now let's take 85% of that uh, to be on the safe side and that's going to leave us with $340,000. But now what we cannot forget are the different tax exemptions that the state of Florida has and that can be upwards of $50,000. So now let's subtract $340,000 from $50,000 to get us $290,000 as your new assessed value and also your taxable rate. So now once we have estimated what the assessed value of that property is, now we take that assessed value of $290,000 and multiply that by Sarasota County's current millage rate. So now if you wanna know the millage rate in your specific county, visit your county's website, but for Sarasota, you can check out sarasotafl.gov and they will tell you what the current millage rate is. However, let's just, in for this example, let's use 12 mils as our millage rate. And so now let's turn the mils into a percentage. So 12 mils would be 1.2%. 
So now let's take $290,000, our assessed value, and multiply that by 1.2% to get $3,480 as your current tax rate. Now I gotta say that this equation right here is the simplest way to actually estimate what your property taxes may be once you take ownership. And this is not the actual tax, property taxes that you will pay for that property. Now in the recent years with all the different law changes and everything, it has become more difficult to actually calculate your current property taxes because there's so many different things, so many different variables, so many different moving parts, such as different tax exemptions, the location of the property, as well as your taxing district as well. So now you may just want to look up what the specific current properties are on a specific property. How exactly do you go about doing that? Well, luckily for you, property taxes are public record, so it's fairly easy to look up. So all you have to do is go into Sarasota County's appraiser website, you put in the property address that you're looking at, and it's going to to pull up the whole entire tax sheet of the past several years, right? So you can go back 10 plus years whenever the property was built and you can, you can actually see what the current property taxes are, but it's also going to give you a breakdown, an itemized list of what all the property taxes are. So for example, we have the school district tax, we have water management tax, we have emergency service tax, and this whole breakdown is going to share with you what percentage it makes up of your entire property tax, as well as give you the dollar amounts of how it adds up into your overall property taxes as well. But if you guys have any other questions about you know looking up your property taxes or anything about property taxes, you feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have as well. Now that concludes today's video about the property taxes here in Sarasota County. Now I've given you all the tools necessary so that you are well prepared when it does come time to make that home purchase here in Sarasota. And once again, my name is Noah Ward and if you have any other questions about real estate, if you're looking to buy or sell a house or whatever it may be, I'm more than happy to chat with you about that. My contact information is down below. But until next time, I hope to see you guys all on my next video.